Players for this game between Athletic Bilbao and Real Madrid. It's the 12th of September 1999, the third game of the season. Real Madrid come into this game with a 100% record, winning their first two games. First game away at Real Mallorca, 2-1 victory before beating Numancia four goals to one at home last week in the Santiago Bernabeu. And it's going to be Real Madrid to get this game underway. They're kicking from right to left. One big change in the Real Madrid side today, making his debut. 17-year-old Ike Casillas. There's been injuries to Bodo Ildner and a slight niggle to the to the other new signing goalkeeper, Bizarri, which means it's the opportunity for the 17-year-old lad from Madrid to make his mark on the Madrid first team. And what a setting to make your debut. San Mames, known as the Cathedral here in Bilbao. Always a hostile atmosphere for the visiting teams. But it's Real Madrid with a early free kick. Opportunity for Roberto Carlos. Looks to be shaping to hit this with his right, his left foot. He's all of 30, 35 yards out. We've seen him hit him from this distance and he looks to hit this one. It's just over the bar. It's a good early opportunity there for Roberto Carlos. He's been known to score a few from that distance and he, he strikes the ball well, but it just rises above the bar of goalkeeper Echibaraya. Roberto Carlos, the Brazilian left back. He's in his fourth season with Real Madrid. Madrid coming into the game with a 100% record, a 4-1 victory in their last game. Goals in that game for Ivan Rocha, Savio, Steve McManaman, a new signing from Liverpool this summer. And Fernando Herrera, the captain, got the fourth goal. It's the early free kick in favour this time of Bilbao, the foul by... Piero. And the linesman's flag goes up for offside. As Madrid look to penetrate the Bilbao defence. Fernando Morientes, it was there, just straying offside. And the free kick taken. Taken short by Bilbao as they look to work the ball through the Real Madrid midfield. He's cut out well by number 21 of, Mad of Madrid, Jeremy. Jeremy also a new sign in this summer, the Cameroon international. Showing his pace to keep number five at bay. It's Bilbao continue to push and the ball's thrown into the area and it's the First touch for Ike Casillas, that will settle a few nerves of his 17-year-old goalkeeper. He was down to share rooms last night with captain Fernando Hierro. But the captain kindly allowed him to, to have the room to himself and allow himself time to focus and prepare himself mentally for this game. It's a big step up for the, the young goalkeeper. He's been at Real Madrid since 1990, playing in the, the youth categories. Up until last season, he was playing in the Real Madrid C team. So it's just a real big step up in the matter of just a few months from playing in the, the playoffs for the Real Madrid C team in the Segunda B, which is the third tier of Spanish football, to find himself in the goals for a league encounter for Real Madrid be a good test for the youngster, highly thought of here in Madrid. Given the opportunity at only 17 years of age, already got a lot of experience in the, the youth categories. 
also played for the Spanish national team at under-15s level. Played one game before playing 19 times for the under-16s. Moved up then to the under-17s. And he's currently playing for the Spanish under-18s team. So highly thought of at national level. Now getting his chance at club level. As Bilbao played the ball forward. The last time these two sides met, last season in Bilbao, the game finished with a 3-2 victory to Real Madrid. The return leg in Madrid on the 20th of February was again an away win for Bilbao this time by one goal to nil. So it was away wins that prevailed last season in this encounter. Real Madrid will be open to follow that pattern this season and pick up the points here in San Mames, but it's Bilbao get the early opportunity, the ball's through, and Casillas is out quickly. He narrows the angle and makes it up a difficult opportunity. It's number seven, Echeverria. Really quick off his line there, Ike Casillas. The ball played through and he's found himself in a lot of space. But the goalkeeper out quickly, makes himself big. And the shot wider the goal. It was, in fact, number 11, La Cruz, who had that opportunity. for Athletic Bilbao down on the near side. Madrid already with a two, two victories this campaign. We'll be looking to keep this 100% record going as it's a free kick. It's Carlos again, Roberto Carlos in the action. Bringing down his man and it's a free kick for Athletic Bilbao. Brazilian defender just getting in front of his man and making it difficult for him to pass. Free kick lofted into the area and it's headed clear at the back post by Jeremy. Clears the danger and the ball runs safely away to the far side for a throw in to Bilbao. Good test there for the new Cameroonian sign-in, Jeremy. His third start for Real Madrid. Made his debut in the 2-1 victory away against Real Mallorca. As Madrid carry the ball into the Bilbao half. The referee signals for a three kick to the Whites. It's a foul on Savio. Savio, another Brazilian player wearing the white shirt of Real Madrid. Ball played out to the left hand side, but there's no one there, and it rolls away for, for a throw into Bilbao. Ball there running away. The whites of Toshak go in search of an opening goal. And the ball just runs away there from Morientes as he was looking to get round his man. Got past the first man and as he just looked to find a little bit of space to get his shot off. It's an important touch from the Bilbao defence. The danger not fully cleared as it's a throw in. An opportunity for Jeremy to cross. As this time the linesman flags and awards the free kick to Real Madrid. Both of the fullbacks for Madrid getting forward, joining the attacks. This free kick will be taken from the 
right hand side it is in fact the captain Hierro who's going to take it he's got targets in there as he waits for the referee's whistle and it's pulled to the edge of the area to Carlos so Carlos striking the ball goal bound but it was cut out by the one of his own shirts I think it was it's an ambitious effort from Roberto Carlos he managed to control it, kept it down it was going towards the goal Madrid using the the lethal left foot of Roberto Carlos early on in this encounter but it's Bilbao's chance to break and down the left, right hand side it's a good tackle from Carlos and the second chance cleared away Say Bilbao ball. It was in fact Santos who came across for that. Julio Santos. Another summer signing arrived from Valladolid. It's going to be a corner kick for Bilbao. Taken by Edu Alonso. Danger cleared. It's Alonso again. Looks to. Player one, two, but the ball's thrown into the area again. And danger cleared, half cleared by Hierro. And it's headed safely into the hands of Casillas, who looks to throw the ball away and get the attack underway quickly. But the referee just pulls him back. I think there was a, a foul in the area there. Number 20, Uzaris. As he goes up there with Hierro. A referee giving a free kick to Madrid. There it is. Again, the Brazilian defender, Julio Cesar, who starts the attack. This only goes as far as the second line of Bilbao players, and it's an opportunity to cross from the right. Cleared easily by Hierro. As McManaman looks to play the ball forward. Again, it's more pressure from the home side. And it's a shot this time from distance, testing the young goalkeeper. But it's a safe pair of hands by Ike Casillas. This time it's a shot from distance from Guerrero. Strikes it well, low down to the keeper's right, and he pulls it well in slippery conditions here in Bilbao. The rain coming down and a short goalkeeping there by the 17-year-old goalkeeper for Real Madrid, Ike Casillas. Ball played long up the line. He looks for a free kick and he gets it. The referee signaling a free kick to Bilbao and it's Julio Cesar Santos who gets up with them for the header but he's a judge to have fouled it's a free kick against Santos Julio Cesar Santos picked up seven bookings last season for Valladolid and in his first season two years before that he picked up two red cards so he's a familiar face to the referees in the Spanish league. It's Carlos whose job it is to clear that one and he intelligently plays it off the Bilbao player and out for a goal kick to Real Madrid. The Real Madrid, John Tashak, manager there. His second spell with the club. In his first spell, he was here for two years from 89 to 91, where he picked up the league title in his first year, as well as the Spanish Super Cup, which he again picked up for the team in his first spell before going back to Real Sociedad, where he had previously managed before spending the last two years 
as the manager at Deportivo La Coruña, where he also won the Spanish Super Cup there. He's been brought back to Madrid to win trophies. And again, it's his second season in his second spell. Last year, the team picked up the Intercontinental Cup. He'll be looking to add silverware to that this year. As the free kick is given against Fernando Ayero. So he just comes across his man, and it's a free kick in a dangerous position for Bilbao. 25 yards out. It looks like Guerrero's shaping to hit this one. As Casillas organizes his wall. Goes for four men into the wall. It's a good opportunity. It's struck well, beats the wall, and it's a goal. The first blow comes for Athletic Bilbao. It's a great strike direct from the from the free kick. He kills it around the wall. And goalkeeper Ike Casillas comes across diving, but unable to get anything onto it. As you see, he strikes it well with his right foot. And it goes across Ike Casillas, who didn't move slightly to his right. And it's the opening goal. It's Athletic Bilbao 1, Real Madrid 0. Casillas will be unhappy with that one. He's positioned his wall to the right of his goal to prevent that shot being hit there. His job then is to stop the, the ball going in at the left-hand side. But as he sidestepped across to the right, it gave Guerrero the, the start and the ball always out of reach for Casillas. It's a good start for the home side as they look to get the second ball played in. Jeremy stands up his man. He gets the better this time, and the ball's played across, and Casillas comes out to collect it safely. Ike Casillas will be unhappy with that start. At, at 17 years of age, there's a lot, a lot of pressure, a lot of expected of him. He collects this ball well. He set up his wall well for the free kick, forcing Guerrero to shoot to the right of the wall. But as he moved across, the ball flew into the right hand side. So it's a good start for Bilbao. The goal coming after just 15 minutes. Real Madrid will be. Looking to reply. But it's Bilbao continue to pile on the pressure. That one's cleared by Julio Cesar. to foul there on Savio both of the number 11's La Cruz and Savio have a little tussle there it's now Madrid who carry the ball forward helped on by McManaman Morientes looks to control the ball but it just runs away from him and Morientes as he comes battling back in picks up a yellow card I think you call that a striker's tackle he's come back in there and fighting for the ball he's not really got anywhere near it he's taken down his man and it's the first booking of the game as we see that one again sliding in and he's got no chance of getting the ball and Ferreira brought down and the referee rightly bringing out the yellow card Morientes wearing the number nine shirt for Real Madrid it's his third season at the club since joining from Zaragoza taken by Bilbao 
Again, this time it's Roberto Carlos who clears the danger. It's Savio inside. Guerrero plays out to the right hand side. Madrid going in search of a equalizer. Great feat from Steve McManaman as he weaves through the Bilbao defense, and it's an opportunity for McManaman. And it's an equalizer for Real Madrid. Steve McManaman. It's his second strike in as many games. What a start to his Real Madrid career. Equalizing goal for Steve McManaman. Amazing run through the middle of the Bilbao team. And he plays a one-two. Gets on the end of it. It's a great finish across the goalkeeper from Steve McManaman. Summer signing from Liverpool. You see, he carries the ball around two men. A little shimmy around the third before he plays it out. Before receiving the ball again, just on the edge of the area. Hits it first time with his left foot across the goalkeeper and into the side netting. What a great opening first 20 minutes in this game. It's athletic. Bilbao 1, Real Madrid 1. What a start for Steve McManaman. Joined from Liverpool on a free transfer this summer. His contract was up at Liverpool. He scored the third goal last week. After coming on at half-time. What a start. It's the first game he's started in a white shirt of Real Madrid. Come on as a second half substitute in both the previous two games. And it's another opportunity for Real Madrid. Corner on the left-hand side. And it's taken left-footed by Savio. It is in fact a Madrid player who gets his head on the ball. He can't direct that one, goal-bound. As Carlos goes racing back to join his defence. It's Bilbao attacking down the right and Look to be a corner kick as Roberto Carlos slid across and looked to get a good interception on that, but the linesman putting up his flag and signaling a goal kick to Real Madrid. The whistles from the home crowd who seem to think that that one came off the, the white shin of Roberto Carlos. It did look to be that way from the replay, but the goalkeeper takes the goal kick short what an opening first 25 minutes of this game Bilbao taking the advantage from the free kick of Guerrero after just 15 minutes but that lead only lasted four minutes before Steve McManaman with a mazy run through the midfield played a lovely one two on the edge of the area and finished sublimely with his left foot Bilbao now who want to settle the game a little. Forward at the line. Salgado comes across. It's a yellow card. It's the second yellow card of the game. This time for Michel Salgado. He came sliding across there and took down his man. Have to be careful now, Real Madrid with. Two yellow cards. See where just catches his man, fails to get any real contact on the ball. We kick to Bilbao. He's taking a shot down the line. This time played into the area. Headed clear by Julio Cesar. Standing right hand side this time. And good covering by the central defender of Real Madrid, Julio Cesar Santos. Got across really quickly there, 
didn't allow Edu Alonso opportunity to get the cross in. Did enough to rush him into playing the ball out for a goal kick to Madrid. Roberto Carlos this time. Bilbao really putting a lot of pressure on Real Madrid, playing the balls forward early, not allowing Madrid to get out of their own half, really. And that pressure is forcing a few corners, a few throw-ins down in this corner and allowing Bilbao to increase the pressure on Real Madrid. But this time the ball's cleared long by Carlos. There, the Welsh manager. He's in Spanish football for some years now. Started his managerial career at Swansea City in Wales. Did, of course, play for Swansea at the end of his career, as well as spending the best part of his career as a Liverpool player, where he played 246 games, scoring 96 goals for the Reds. The referee gives a free kick against Julio Cesar. Another opportunity for Bilbao to play the ball into the area. Casillas sets his wall, it's a two man wall. And it's cleared easily by Real Madrid. And this time it's a free kick in favour of the Whites. La Cruz bringing down his man there. of summer signings for Toshak this year. We've already spoken about the new signing, Steve McManaman. Toshak's connections in the British game there, helping him sign the Liverpudlian midfielder. He came on a free transfer. Another player coming from, from English football, the French attacker, the French striker, Nicolas Anelka. He joined the, the Whites of Real Madrid from Arsenal for 34 million euros. It's a big price tag. He's on the bench today. Looking to get involved and show his value after a real big money signing. Other, other signings. We've just seen Michel Salgado receive a booking. He also joined in the summer from Celta Vigo. 12 million pounds. As well as the Cameroonian defender Jeremy signed for 4.2 million euros from the Turkish league. It's been a busy summer in the transfer market. As Madrid go in search of titles. And it's Redondo who plays the ball forward. Was played out wide to Savio. He's away from his man. It's an early cross into the area. Cut out by the defence of Athletic Bilbao. It's a dangerous early ball there from Savio. As Madrid look to play a bit of football in the Athletic half. It's brought clear again by Bilbao. He's played long. It's a big tackle there, and it's the referee comes across to show his. Third yellow card. It's the third yellow card in the first half an hour. It's the second one for new boy Michel Salgado. And it's an early bath for the number two of Real Madrid. Two yellow cards for the Madrid defender in the space of just a few minutes. Real Madrid reduced to ten men as he comes sliding in. Again, he gets nothing of the ball and he takes down his man it's a very very dangerous tackle very dangerous tackle indeed after already receiving a yellow card so madrid reduced to 10 men it's going to complicate matters 
the score currently one apiece. Three yellow cards in this first half an hour. Two of them going to the same men. And it's a cross into the area, headed behind by Carlos. There's going to have to be some reshuffling by Toshak. Looks to be talking to the bench as he'll be making a substitution as the early sending off. Exactly what Real Madrid didn't want. This corner played in. Headed clear at the front post. So it really has been an eventful first half hour. A goal for either side. And a sending off for Michel Salgado of Real Madrid. And as Bilbao looked to make this one man advantage pay they're putting on the pressure it's another corner this time out on the right hand side this time whipped into the back post and it's carried clear by redondo redondo does well as he looks to play it back to his white shirts he's intercepted by the bilbao midfield Tackle on the edge of the area, Redondo there to sweep it up again. And as Jeremy clears the ball long, it's going to be a big test now for Real Madrid. They're a man down, the debutant Ike Casillas in goal. It looks like he's going to have a lot of work to do as Madrid look to keep the score down. It was Guerrero who opened the scoring for Bilbao. Before Steve McManaman equalised after just 19 minutes. But it's another free kick. This time it's Jeremy who brings down his man. Going to have to be careful, Real Madrid already down to 10. And there's been some, let's say... Uh, Excited tackles by the Whites of, of Madrid. Really competitive start and it's slippery conditions out there as the rain was coming down in the early parts of the game. It's going to be a free kick for Bilbao. And it's Carlos who first fails to clear the shot. He looks to slice the ball and it's an opportunity on the edge of the area. Number six of... Bilbao with a shot going over Ike Casillas' goal. And we see Cas uh, Carlos swiping at the ball. There's a right foot of strike. He's dipping, but just over the bar. And this substitution is going to be made. It is, in fact, number 11, the left winger, Savio, who's coming off. He's going to be sacrificed as Madrid will look to shore up the defence. And it's going to be Ivan Helguera coming on. It's an early change, just 33 minutes on the clock. Helguera, another summer signing for Real Madrid. He signed from Espanyol for 15 million pound, 15 million euros, sorry. And he's straight into the action today. some reorganizing across the back Helguera came on in the 70th minute of the last game against Numancia he replaced Redondo in that game the score was at 3-0 as it was Toshap looking to shore up the game and close it off there with a 3-0 lead Helguera came on for the last 20 minutes and that was his debut for Real Madrid. This is his second start, so his second appearance. Both appearances coming off the bench. So you see Toshap rearranging. It's Carlos who stays out on the left-hand side. Redondo plays the ball out to Jeremy, who looks to have taken up position on the 
right full back. McManaman flicks the ball inside and it's Morientes who looks to cross the ball. And he goes, hits it really hard and goes all the way out for a throw in on the far side. Morientes looking to play the ball in early. Just couldn't get his foot around it. To look to hook it back to Raul who was arriving on the edge of the area. A goal kick, Carlos this time unable to get the ball into the area. A goal kick to be taken by the Bilbao goalkeeper. He looks to hit this one long. The header is flicked on by the Bilbao striker. As Raul now looks to be playing more out on the left hand side in the in the place where Savio's been. He's been replaced. So Morientes all on his own at the top now. So Real Madrid's 100% start to this league season looks somewhat in danger as they currently have a 1-1 draw with Bilbao. The important statistic in this first half is that they've been reduced to 10 men. Michel Salgado been sent off for his second booking as Toshak passes on instructions to the new French striker Nicolas Anelka. Maybe coming on earlier than expected after the, the early sending off. This time the free kick in favour of Real Madrid. You see a replay of that one. It's Jeremy who's who's fouled in that tackle as Raul looks to get away from his man. It's a good sliding tackle and out for a throw-in. Raul throws it back to Carlos and in fact the referee giving Raul a free kick for that foul. It's possession given away rather too cheaply there for Real Madrid, they've got 10 men, they really need to look after the ball when they do get it, else they're going to spend a lot of the game the remaining minutes chasing the ball and with 10 men that's going to be an extremely tiring task for the Whites Bilbao now who knocking the ball around finding the spaces in this Real Madrid side and his Carlos was turned well by his man he managed to get a little foot in and put it out there for a, for a throw into Bilbao it's La Cruz who plays the ball into the centre and it's headed over the bar Ike Casillas will be happy to see that one flying over his crossbar the ball was played in from the right hand side by by La Cruz and it was in fact number 20 the centre forward Uzaris who heads that one over nice turn there by captain Fernando Hierro Fernando Hierro was down to share rooms last night with the debutant Ike Casillas but knowing the importance of this game for the young goalkeeper Piero allowed Casillas to have the room to himself to focus on the game 
he's been focused for the for the best part of this first half looking very assured there in the goal the the young product of the Real Madrid Academy I'm sure he's gonna be tested more as this game goes on as Bilbao search for his second goal this time it's good defending again by Hierro plays that one out The red and white shirts of Bilbao not allowing Madrid out of their own half. And the spaces as the ball played in from the left. Again, headed clear by Hierro. There's a rock there. Not allowing anything to come into the area. Protecting his goalkeeper really well. A real captain's performance from Fernando Hierro. As the, as the Bilbao substitutes warm up. Bilbao will be looking to take advantage, and that one's deflected into his own goal. It looks like it's Jeremy deflects the cross into his own goal. Nothing Casillas can do about that one. That comes at a horrible time for Real Madrid. Just before half time, it's a new boy, Jeremy, looking to cut out the cross. And the red and white shirts and the red and white fans of Bilbao celebrate that second goal here we can see a replay it's a cross drilled in from the left and as Jeremy looks to head it out it's extremely unfortunate it takes a bounce goes across the goalkeeper who's got no chance at all and it flies into the far post to make it athletic Bilbao 2 Real Madrid won. Extremely unfortunate from the Cameroonian right back. Just before half time, a terrible blow for John Toshak's men. Toshak will have a lot to say now in the half time team talk. It was already going to be difficult after being reduced to 10 men. And now it's doubly difficult. A goal behind. And over 45 minutes to play. It's the 40th minute when that goal's been deflected into the goal of Ike Casillas. The important thing now for Real Madrid is to consolidate. If they can get into the half-time break in this, they can rearrange, they can have a chat maybe. Opportunity for Toshak to get some substitutes, but it's Morientes there who's looking to claw one back. His right footed shot flashes across the goal. There we see Nicolas Anelka, 34 million euros. He cost Real Madrid from Arsenal. Taken long, well over the halfway line into the Real Madrid half, and it's Carlos who comes out and only half clears the danger. It's number 17 who's fouled this time by Carlos. It's a Chiberia brought down, Roberto Carlos. Really important for Toshak's men to stay on their feet. They really can't afford many more yellow cards. It's a bit of a rash tackle by the Brazilian. Free kick again in a dangerous area. Whipped in and it's cleared well at the front post. It is by Roberto Carlos. Been a lot of defending for the Whites to do in this first half. They've defended well in general. Roberto Carlos, he has been busy down this right hand side. Jeremy's been busy down the, sorry, Carlos down the left. Jeremy down the right. Also through the middle, there's been danger, which resulted in a couple of 
couple of sliding tackles from Salgado, which earned him two yellow cards. And there is the, the other centre half, Julio Cesar, been called into an action a lot, giving away a free kick again. Another opportunity. It's played into the area, and again it's Carlos who, who gets the header on the ball. The danger cleared. Only as far as the, the far side for a throw in to Bilbao as he looks to throw this one long. Deep into the area, headed clear. Can Madrid hold on? There's going to be one minute of stoppage time to be played. If they can hold on, there'll be time for reorganisation. It looks like Toshak has got his subs warming up. Could be a change at the break. There's going to be words of encouragement. Uh, most of all, a, an important 15-minute break for the, for the whites of Real Madrid. They've been busy, mainly defending in this half. And there we see the tackle from Julio Cesar. It's a good tackle as he comes across, clears his danger. Julio Cesar has been involved a lot since his move from Valladolid. the club 2.5 million euros he's looking a bargain at the minute the way he's defending extremely so strong in the center half position but he's going to have a lot more work to do as this game goes on and there is the halftime whistle as the first half draws to the close it was a, a goal of two goals to one as Bilbao get the second half underway it was Bilbao who opened the scoring. A free kick scored after just 15 minutes. Guerrero beating the debutant Ike Casillas from 20 yards out. Direct free kick. But only five minutes later, the reply came with Steve McManaman making his only his third start, third appearance for Real Madrid. His first start. He got his second goal. But the big news of the first half came with the sending off of Michel Sal Salgado. An opportunity there for Bill Bauer as they go searching for a third early on in this second half. A little bit of a let off there for Real Madrid. One of the things they'll have been talking about in the changing room is coming out, keeping it tight early on. But as that ball's played in there, he's found a little bit of space. And it's only, only inches wide of Ike Casillas' goal. So Julio Cesar fails to deal with the cross. A right footer chance just goes wide of the goal of 17 year old Ike Casillas. But the big news being in the, in the first half, the sending off of Michel Salgado. He was, received two yellow cards, and shortly after that, the second goal for Bilbao came. It was a goal, an own goal scored by Jeremy, a Cameroonian defender. You know, the big story of this game is the debut of 17-year-old Ike Casillas. He's been on the books of Real Madrid for almost, almost 10 years now. Joined as an eight-year-old in 1990. He is from Madrid, despite his name, Ica, which, which is a Basque name, actually. Um, he also... Brother has a, a Catalan name. But Ica Casillas, Ica Casillas Fernandez, is from Madrid, from Mostoles, just south of the, the city centre. Real Madrid through and through. He has been called up to the first team squad before he was called up in the championship, uh, sorry, in the Champions League just a few uh, few years ago. So he never never made the made it onto the pitch, but it was against Rosenberg the year that Real Madrid beat Juventus in the final of the European Cup. Played in the Ajax Arena. It's a 
good opportunity for Cassius to, to make a mark. He's still only 17. He can't be expecting to play too much this season with the the number one shirt still Bodo Ilgner, the German goalkeeper. He's unavailable today, he's injured. But another goalkeeper, the second choice goalkeeper for Real Madrid coming into this game is the Argentinian goalkeeper Bizarri, signed for two million from Argentine club Racing this summer. He's only 21. He has got a niggling injury. And Toshak chose not to start with him. He went with Casillas. He's had a good, good first half, Ike Casillas. He's, he conceded the free kick. Maybe if we're being a little bit too harsh on him, we could say he was slightly out of position as the free kick was taken. But apart from that, he's handled extremely well with extreme confidence off his line quickly to, to snuff out an early chance for Bilbao. But the white shirts of Madrid will be in search of an equaliser here in San Mames. The stadium San Mames gets its name from that's been built very close to a, a local church called San Mames. And the, the nickname of Bilbao is the, the Lions because San Mames, Saint Mames, was given his sainthood as a result of being thrown to the Lions by the Romans. But the Lions refused to eat Mames and he was later made a saint. Real Madrid have been thrown to the Lions in the first half of this game. With the sending off of Salgado and the two goals, and here's another bit of pressure. Well held by Ike Casillas. Madrid coming into this game with a 100% record, winning their first two games. The first game away in Mallorca. Madrid were, were behind in that game as well. Trailing by a goal to nil. And it was in fact this man, Morientes, who equalised. Extremely late equaliser by Morientes in the 91st minute. And it was that man, Raul, who scored the winner in the 95th minute. A dramatic late come comeback for Real Madrid in that game. They'll be hoping for something similar tonight. Although the odds currently stacked against them. Uh, overhead clearance by the, the full-back of Athletic Bilbao. It's only, only gone out for a throwing to Madrid. Jeremy there just hurting that challenge. Took a little bit of a knock on his right ankle as he hobbles to take this, this throw-in. Just throw it long into the area. Orientes was the target, but the danger dealt with. Orientes scoring 19 goals last season. Great return for the, the Spanish striker. Chiberea kicks the ball long and it's Hierro comes out to, to win that and Carlos with the follow-up. It's going to be some doggy defending needed from Madrid tonight. Already a goal down. Choose to ten men. It's the Whites who started the brightest in this second half. There is Jeremy. Gets round his man and the crossing from the right hand side. It's headed goal bound by goal scorer Steve McManaman. Just can't get that one on target. It's a good cross from the right hand side. And the ball just played a little bit behind McManaman and he can't direct his header on target. 
great goal in the first half by Steve McManaman, free signing from Liverpool in the summer. A little run through the middle of the Bilbao midfield, taking on three or four men. So playing a nice one-two to finish coolly with his right foot. And it's the Bilbao fans who are the happiest of the two. To their side leading by two goals to one. And again, cleared by the defence of Real Madrid. Redondo does extremely well to keep hold of the ball and plays it forward. A chance for a break for Madrid. It's McManaman plays it inside. It's through to Raul. Raul goes around the goalkeeper. And Raul plays the ball into an empty goal. But the referee seems to have blown, looks like he's blown for an offside. Raul didn't hear the whistle, he continued, he went round to the goalkeeper, slotting the ball into the open goal. And here, if we see the replay, Raul just offside. Does extremely well to take it round the goalkeeper, Raul. Finishes well, but the flag's up. It remains Bilbao 2, Real Madrid 1. The goal-scoring excellence of Raul, only 22 years of age in his sixth season with Real Madrid. The team made his debut as a 17-year-old. And he's already scored 85 goals in his career goals in that first season when he started out as a youngster and as we see Bilbao coming close again but that shot well wide of Casillas' goal Jeremy it's pass intercepted the new advantage of Bilbao making it difficult for Real Madrid as they look to pick the passes. Here's McManaman, does extremely well, nice little back heel. 1 2 with Raul. Oh, she just runs away from the Englishman. Great pressure, great work, great by Steve McManaman, but Bilbao do well to keep hold of the ball and they carry the ball clear. To play a one-two, it's cut out and carried clear. This time by Julio Julio Cesar. Another summer signing for the Whites. Is Jeremy. As Jeremy drives forward. He's forced inside. It's Raúl. Raúl looks to play a one-two with Steve McManaman. The ball just in front of McManaman. And this is what Madrid need to be careful about. They need to guard for this counter attack as they throw men forward in search of an equalizer. There's always the threat of a Bilbao break. This time it's Leo Cesar who fouls his man. Comes across well. Looks to get the ball there. It's been unfortunate there, and I think the decision going in favour of Bilbao. As the linesman, the, the fourth ref referee, wants to get his board. Looks like there's going to be a substitution for Bilbao, but before that, the free kick's taken. And it's punched clear by Casillas. A little bit of uncertainty there as communication between Casillas and his central defender. He does the job and punches the ball clear and there's Madrid break again down the right hand side Jeremy gets around his man and this time the free kick is given as the Cameroon defender has been, been busy both defensively and going forward today for Real Madrid that free kick wasted substitution for Athletic Bilbao it is number 11 La Cruz coming off 
and he's going to be replaced by number nine, Esquerero. It's been a good game for La Cruz. He's put a few balls into the box, he's been busy, but Bilbao really now looking to, to get that third goal. We're also going to be a substitution for Real Madrid. It's going to be Nicolas Anelka, the 34 million euro man. He comes on to replace Morientes. So both managers making changes as they look to alter the course of this game. Shirts of Bilbao search forward. The white shirts of Real Madrid continue to put up a wall. And this time the pass by Casillas. Putting Jeremy under a little bit of pressure, but he's done well to carry that clear. And he's won his team a throw in. Great pace by the young fullback. started the first two games of the campaign and started this one on the bench Toshak going with the experience of Morientes the, as the games opened up a little and with Madrid reduced to to ten men the pace of Anelka has been chosen and it's a real opportunity there for Nicolas Anelka could have been in an offside position, but that won't count as he's put the ball wide. As you see, he's, he's a good few yards offside. And that's why Toshak's put him on his pace. Will cause problems for the Bilbao defence. As the game draws on, we're looking for a lot more from Nicolas and Elka. Joined from Arsenal this summer. Played there for almost two seasons. He's only 23 goals in 65 games before earning this transfer. Initially came from Paris Saint-Germain. He was, of course, awarded the PFA Young Player of the Year award in the 1989-99 season, last season for Arsenal. Which is obviously what caught the eye of Real Madrid. As Piero comes out. And stop the attack of Bilbao, and it's a free kick. As Bilbao look to slow the game down. That foul on Urtia. Wasted opportunity by Bilbao. Is a free kick in a decent area there, but they didn't take advantage of it. Well, they still have possession. To the right hand side, the cross cut out by Redondo, who's had a great game in there in the middle of the midfield. He's picked up everything, broken down a lot of the attacks for Bilbao. And when he's got on the ball, his distribution has been fantastic, hardly giving it away tonight. And in there with a great important interception again for Madrid, but this time the ball is drifted into the area. And Casillas comes out to claim it, but he is fouled, and it's a free kick. Did well there, Casillas, under the heavy challenge of the big Basque striker. And this time the ball played through. And Elka really looking to get into the space behind the Bilbao defence. Lively first few minutes for the Frenchman. This one's much closer. He's just offside. Bilbao defenders just stepping up as the ball was played in there. Like there's going to be another substitution for Real Madrid. It's to be Guti taking off his tracksuit bottoms. So more movement on the bench as Toshak goes in search of a equalising goal. Madrid, but 
Ronaldo did well to get in, and it has been given away in the end. Bilbao forcing their way forward. And as they were regaining the possession and played across the defence to the applause of the old fans here inside San Mames. There's a little tug on the shorts there by Redondo, and it's a free kick given to Bilbao. Short across the ground. As Bilbao look to attack down the wings, and this time it leads to a corner. Roberto Carlos deflecting the cross out for a corner on the right hand side. Carlos has not been able to get forward as much in this second half. And it's going to be taken by Larazabal on the right hand side. The corner. Getting back out by the rights of Madrid, it's a second consecutive corner for Bilbao. It's who takes it again, this time a little bit deeper. And the header just wide of the of Ike Casillas' goal. Felipe there getting up, sorry, Ferreira getting up there at the back post. As it looks to be another substitution for Bilbao. Larayantha on the on the bench, warming up there at the side of the field. Gives away another free kick. A little swipe at the ball. He was nowhere near the ball. He got his man, and the referee's got that one right. As the home side look to get their substitute on. Roberto Carlos coolly heads it back to Casillas, who has got a little bit off guard, but he reacted well and collects the ball before kicking long with an elk at the target. That one will bounce safely through with a little help to the goalkeeper. The other side with the substitute lined up on the sidelines. It'll be interesting to see if the Bilbao manager is happy with what's going on, if he's happy with the 2 1 scoreline, or whether he's going to go in search of another. It's a good ball into the area. This time, he beats everyone. You can see it's caught by his man there as he came out for the cross. And then he runs away safely for a goal kick to Real Madrid, which will allow Bilbao to make the substitution. And it's going to be Edu Alonso coming off. And he's going to be replaced by Larayan Thar. Big round of applause for Edu Alonso from the home side. As Bilbao look to close up the game and stop the opportunities that have been coming as Real Madrid search for this equaliser. Here's McManaman. He plays the ball out. And in El case, judged to be offside. It's a close one. The two boys playing in the Premier League last year for Arsenal and Liverpool. This was much closer. And as you can see, he's played on side there this time. It's Nicholas and Elka, number 10 in the centre of your screen. Playing him on, but the, the pace he's got, it does often seem like he was offside. Just because he gets away from his man so quickly. It's a lively start for him and Real Madrid. Looking to create opportunities of their own. Game really open. 
opening up now as Madrid pushed one way, Bilbao pushed the other. It's a good tackle by Roberto Carlos. Bilbao still have possession. And again, it's Carlos there with a great tackle. And Elka spreads the ball out to Jeremy. Jeremy carries clear. Space in front of him to run into. As he holds it up, cuts inside. Goes to the edge of there to McManaman into an Elka. Nicholas and Elka with the snapshot there on the turn. Good little ball in there by McManaman. Good understanding between the two of them. It's Jeremy who plays the ball in. And lifted over by McManaman. Takes it on his thigh, turns and strikes the ball just wide of the goalkeeper's left hand post. Real Madrid getting closer. Or well, maybe a bit closer than the last one in terms of the offside, but he's in line with play. And he gets off the shot. But it remains Athletic Bilbao 2, Real Madrid 1. Casillas, the debutant, 17 years old. He's gone from playing in front of 500 people for Real Madrid C team. And now he's playing at the very top level in the top Spanish league. Away in San Mamés. And his defence protected him well there. Two blocked shots from Bilbao. And Manolan has to play the ball clear. Bilbao keeping the whites in their own half. Here is McManam again. And this time, he can't find the target of Nicolas and Elka. Really so it seems to be the tactic for Madrid in this half. With Anelka playing on the shoulder of the last man, looking to thread balls through to him. He's dropped a little bit deeper. Plays it back inside, spread out to Jeremy. Jeremy lofts the ball into the area, and it straight falls to McManaman. Great strike by Steve McManaman, looking for his second of the night. But the goalkeeper, Echeverria, equal to it. Played into the area by Jeremy. The header only half cleared, and that's it. McManaman with a strike. It's a nice connection, but he fails to direct it to the sides of the goalkeeper. And a fairly routine take in the end. This time it's Bilbao playing in the ball from the right hand side. And a shot from distance gathered calmly by Ike Casillas. Real Madrid look to be making a another substitution. It is in fact their third substitution. And it's number six, Redondo coming off. What a great game he's had there in the centre of midfield. Fresh legs introduced in the form of Guti. We're in number 14, Jose Maria Guti, 23-year-old. He's another player who's come through the Madrid youth system. It's his fifth season as the first team player for Real Madrid. So all, although he's only 23 years of age, he's got a lot of experience. And he's got a few titles to his name already, winning the league title with the Whites in the 1996-97 season. The following season, he was part of the European Cup winning team that won against Juventus in Amsterdam. He's also got a Super Cup to his name, as well as the Intercontinental Cup last year. So although a relatively young central midfielder, Jose Maria Guti, has the experience. He's also got fresh legs, which would be a big help to Real Madrid. As they've been playing for a big part of the game with just 10 men. The earlier sending off of Michel Salgado for his second yellow card. 
That sending off forced the first substitution, which was made after just 33 minutes. Elguera coming on for Savio. The other substitution in an Elka replacing Morientes on the 58th minute. All three subs played by Toshak. He's thrown all his cards in there and it's a good stop by Casillas this time. Still 2-1 to Bilbao. Bilbao really looking to get that third goal, but it's a great stop by the youngster Ike Casillas. Helping to keep the deficit of just one goal. And it, while ever there's only one goal in it, although they're down to ten men, there's still a bit of hope for Real Madrid. That they can at least keep their unbeaten run to the season. And here is Anelka, the ball played through, Anelka rounds the goalkeeper. Pulled back, and it's Guti! Jose Maria Guti makes it. Atletico, Athletic Bilbao 2, Real Madrid 2. The change by Toshak working immediately. The two substitutes linking up. It was Anelka who raced clear before pulling the board back, ball back to Guti. Here we see again, Anelka gets away, beats the offside trap. Extremely well to round the keeper. Pulls it back to Guti, arriving who side foots it into the net. That's Guti's first touch of the game, and what a touch it is. Unselfish play by Anelka as he plays in his teammates. And Guti says thank you very much. And he makes it Athletic Bilbao 2, Real Madrid 2. So there we have it. Real Madrid looking to keep their unbeaten record intact. Or would like to go one better and keep an 100% record after their two wins from two. Given the circumstances here tonight, with the early sending off, I'm playing the best part of the game with, with ten men. Toshap will be relatively content with the, the current scoreline and also be happy with his substitutions. Just a couple of seconds after Guti had come onto the pitch, his first touch ended up in the back of the net. Nice assist by the Frenchman Nicolas Anelka, proving his value of 34 million euros. Still 10 minutes to go in this game. Bilbao goes searching for a winner. As he breaks into the air, it's a shot and a great save by Ike Casillas. The snapshot as he broke inside the area, looking to beat Casillas at his near post. The young goalkeeper equal to it. Gets the better of Roberto Carlos as he strikes it with his left boot. Casillas forces it out for a corner kick. It was Etching Berea with the with the shot. The balls and Casillas in action again, and he claws it clear. And the referee blows for a free kick as Casillas was impeded as he went up to collect that ball. Really being called into action in the last few minutes. And what a stop that was from the debutants. If Madrid go on to get something from this game, there'll be a lot of thanks going to the young goalkeeper for that stop. And the ball just running away from Jeremy, fails to control that. Tired legs will be creeping in, he's had a busy day, putting a good shift up and down this right wing, playing defensively, more defensively in the first half, but he's had the licence to get forward in the second half, and he was the one who's played the ball in a few times from the right, crosses, played it in for Manamanu, who passed the... chipped the ball over to Anelka for that earlier opportunity. It was, in fact, Anelka who provided the pass for the equalising goal. Scored just a few minutes ago by Guti. It's Bilbao now searching for a third, and they are 
looking to bring on a substitute. Still got one left. And this time he's shot from 20 yards out. Fails to beat Ike Casillas. Fails to hit the target. It's Felipe there with the shot. Cuts inside his man. Fate to shoot on the right and in fact shoots in the end with his left foot. who comes on when uh, the ball goes out of play. Madrid with an important free kick. The foul on Raul. It's an opportunity to relieve a bit of pressure. A bit of breathing space for the Whites. The captain, Fernando Hierro, takes it long. And the ball beating everyone. It's, it's Roberto Carlos who runs after that one. And as he looks to hide behind the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper's wise to it. And he kicks it long with uh, Carlos racing back. The ball seen out by Piero, who's in no rush to give it back to his goalkeeper. Madrid now looking to run down the clock as this substitution is made for Bilbao. It is Felipe, who's just had that shot, who's coming off. He's replaced by Javi Gonzalez. As Bilbao throw, is that the last throw of the dice in terms of the substitutions? Raul has worked out to Jeremy. Just can't get on the end of that one, and it's cleared up the line. Only as far as McManaman. McManaman looks for the one-two with an Elka. McManaman gets it back. Oh, and he just loses control of it at a vital moment. Trying to buy himself a little bit of space. A little shimmy on the edge of the area. And in the end... Could be the tired legs, just one shimmy too much, and the ball runs away from him. He's put in a good shift too as Steve McManaman. He's not stopped running at all today in the Real Madrid midfield. He's had a great impact since his move, scoring two out of three, the three games he's played in. This is his first start, his first 90 minutes for Madrid in the previous two games. He was a second-half substitute, and he scored the third goal in the last week's game against Numantia. And it's a yellow card this time for Real Madrid. I think it's been shown to Hierro. It is, in fact, the Real Madrid captain, Fernando Hierro, who receives that yellow card. You see a replay of that foul. Inside the final 10 minutes as Madrid look to hold on. Raul cutting out that one. Is he outside to Carlos? It's a one-two. Lifted nicely into McManaman who finds himself in a lot of space there in the middle of the midfield. It's through ball looking for the on-running Fullback, uh, the Cameroonian fullback Jeremy, but that one was cut out to. It is a throw into Real Madrid. It's been a real exciting game today from Sam Mames. Two goals inside the first 20 minutes. Bilbao opening the scoring with the direct free kick from Guerrero. Stevie McManaman, who equalised after just 19 minutes. The game's two and throw between the two teams. Uh, 
Bilbao having spells of possession, especially in the early exchanges. Madrid coming into it in the second half. As Anelka looks to get free of his man. And there's four the red and white shirts around him, but Anelka manages to win the free kick. Anelka's really been an handful since his introduction as a second half substitute. Here we see him just getting away from his man. And he was clipped, and it's a free kick to Real Madrid again, eating up precious seconds as the ten men of Madrid look to hold on to this draw and Roberto Carlos looks to be setting this one to strike a goal and we saw an early free kick from Carlos in the first couple of minutes of the first half going close just above the goalkeeper's bar this time he's uh, a little bit further out maybe 35 yards out it's a fair distance we've seen how well he strikes a ball it's a big run up for the brazilian fullback as he strikes it with his left foot oh the goalkeeper manages to keep hold of it but it's hit with some power unfortunately for the goalkeeper it's straight at him if that was a couple of yards either side the keeper would have been uh, in a bit of trouble Ball swerving as it reaches the keeper, just bounces, and he manages to get hold of it at the second attempt. Always a danger from the free kick, Roberto Carlos, and it is a free kick now for Bilbao. Out on the left-hand side, opportunity to throw this ball into the box. It's been a lot of the attacks for Bilbao have come via crosses in from wide from both the right and the left hand side looking to test this young goalkeeper but until now he's been equal to everything this one whipped in right footed and it's headed goalwards Casillas sees that one over he looks to have that one covered it was in fact the substitute Javi Gonzalez who got the, the flick on as you can see, Casillas racing back and he pulls up his right arm and has that one covered. So although he's conceded two goals tonight, Casillas, he's had an exceptional game there in the goals for Real Madrid. The first goal coming via a, a well-struck free kick from Guerrero. And the second goal for Bilbao, a deflected goal, which Casillas had no chance, absolutely no chance. It was a cross from the left-hand side deflected off the head of Jeremy There's still time for Bilbao to find a winner and again it's a crossing from the left hand side pull back this time and it's played back calm defending by Real Madrid the into play be by Steve McManaman and Roberto Carlos who manages to clear the ball and this time it's Anelka who looks to Foul is man. The kick is taken quickly as we see a replay. And that one, Nelka get his foot really high there. Look at the white shirts of Real Madrid de defending with their lives. This time a shot from distance. What a save by Casillas. The ball's moved in front of him and he saved it with his feet. Deflected the shot onto the bar. That would have almost certainly been a goal for Athletic Bilbao. Here we see the ball swerves and Casillas stops the ball. Great save with his legs. He's fortunate with the way it rebounds onto the bar. Quick back to his feet. And the second effort by Bilbao, well over the bar. The 17-year-old keeper really being called into action in these closing stages here in San Mames. Real Madrid looking to keep hold of this 2-2 draw. Or are they going for a third? Out to Jeremy. The ten men of Madrid surging forward. Jeremy plays the ball into the area. And it falls to McManaman. Steve McManaman. It's a great opportunity for the, the young Englishman. Ball in from the right-hand side, Jeremy. And 
if McManaman had directed that either side of the goalkeeper, Real Madrid could have been coming away tonight with three points despite playing the game for almost an hour with just ten men. Great performance from the Whites of Real Madrid. Inspired performance. John Toshak will be extremely happy if they can manage to get at least a point from this game. They were working extremely hard without the ball, the Whites. A cross goes Carlos and a cross comes in. Well, this time it's headed clear by Helguera. into the area it's headed back it doesn't quite fall shoots back in again cleared at the back post Madrid defending with the lights and this time the shot just wide just wide of Ike, Ike Casillas' goal the way it hit the net there's some of the home fans cheering as if it had gone in oh, we see a replay of that strike hits it really well and it's a deflection takes it away from Ike Casillas and as the corner comes in Casillas manages to punch it clear Real Madrid really holding on now it's thrown into the box again and this time the referee gives a free kick in favour of Real Madrid as the fourth referee signals there'll be two minutes of stoppage time it's two minutes more for Real Madrid to hold on. As Bilbao goes searching and getting closer and closer for that third goal. But it really is a spirited display by the whites of Real Madrid as Hierro clears the ball long deep into the Bilbao half. Coming again, it's dealt with uh, the white shirts of Real Madrid, and they managed to win a free kick. As Hierro turns his man, well, can't quite see what the card is for. The the free kick is for as the Bilbao attackers come steaming in. The free kick taken long. and cuts out the pass and allows the white shirts to get back in position McManaman playing more out on the left hand side and it is McManaman again who gets in front of his man a corner kick to Bilbao could be the last throw of the dice and the corner to be taken from the left hand side Ike Casillas organising his defence as it's whipped in headed behind at the back post I think it's Anelka who puts that one out and it's another corner another corner for Bilbao this really is the last chance as they go in search of a winning goal can Real Madrid hold on this time the corner coming over from the right hand side it's taken deep to the back post it's headed away and the referee blows his whistle it's full time in San Mames and it's a second half goal from Gute which equalizes and a fine goalkeeping display by Ike Casillas to make the game finish